Well, folks, this situation is changing just like the weather changes on an hourly basis during the summertime, okay? A lot of new stuff is coming out right now. We even got lawyers talking about it. We even have doctors talking about it. Yeah, so this is like friendly fire, you feel what I'm saying? So Dr. Todd talks about Dr. Disrespect. Absolute crazy stuff. I, I want to show you like some new stuff that just came out as well. We also have the homie J God, as you guys can see. He's laughing, he's cracking, he's smiling. But then he's going to be asked about Dr. Disrespect. His smiles disappears, and what he says next, crazy, to say the least. We're gonna get right into the story, like the video if you just wanna know the truth, roll it. Ever seen a story on the internet that has had so many twists and turns yeah. as Dr. Disrespect and Twitch. This story has more twists than a conspiracy full of Area 51, bruh. Has, and it's not just the current version of that, it's the version that happened four years ago when he was banned from Twitch. That had all types of twists and turns to it. And now this one just continues to get crazier and crazier and crazier. And I sit here at 3 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday morning, and I'm sitting here confused. Oh, damn, like 3 in the morning? Damn! So this is one of those emergency videos, right? As ever, but we're going to go through the latest update on the craziness that is Dr. Disrespect versus Twitch. Here we go. So, eight thoughts here says, this is why I changed my mind after crucifying Dr. Disrespect. Okay. Something is feeling off about the whole thing. Let me recap my position on this. I never trusted Twitch. Mm. I said I want to see proof before I'm going to believe anything from Twitch. Yeah, facts, facts. The only thing that has been extremely damning towards Dr. Disrespect is his own is his own admitting to the information right because previously everybody was like yeah we need the proof we need the proof understandable but right after that he admitted to the allegation so it's like you know what i mean and right now a lot of people are like hey there's gotta be more to the situation but here's the thing he admitted man he admitted but yeah let's uh, let's see uh, let's see uh, what what you guys think one in the chat if you think people are coping with the idea of having more information like the chat logs Two in the comments if you think that's justified. I want to see like where you guys at with it as well because uh, I'm seeing uh, the streets being quite uh, divided as of late. Respect is his last tweet where he admitted to having discussions with a person that he should not be having those discussions with. That's the only thing that's been damning. And he gave no context he gave no further context as yeah. to if he knew, if he didn't know, if he, you know, stepped yeah, yeah, away yeah. from the situation as soon as he became aware. Nothing. Mm. But we get so much more from across oh, the internet. No. It's oh, wild. No. Legal Mindset here says, I've discussed repeatedly, particularly on my fantastic stream with Grums, Twitch has some liability as they settled and paid Dr. Disrespect. We oh. just aren't clear on the exact nature or scope, scope of, of Twitch, Twitch liability. liability. The Twitch minor bait theory is just one of many possibilities, but it cannot be dismissed yet. Mm. Now, those of you that are not sure what he meant, that's an actual lawyer talking about it. Oh, so, yeah, this is uh, this situation is blowing up right now. Even more right now. Even more so. Like, like, damn. Like, we got doctors talking about it. We got lawyers talking about it. We got every gaming YouTuber talking about it right now. Like, every streamer is talking about it. And it's just not stopping. And Call of Shame, we covered this post in a previous video, but there's more stuff that, that is now coming out that, I will, uh, that we'll get into. But apparently, the minor... The the Twitch minor bait, if you're confused with it, you're about to find out. But apparently, the, the unconfirmed, keep in mind, this is just a rumor, okay? The rumor is that Twitch was using the minor bait to actually pull Dr. Disrespect in and cancel him because they don't like Dr. Disrespect. They don't like Dr. Disrespect part is actually true, but Doc has also admitted to the allegations, and that part is also true. So Dr. Disrespect is also guilty, but people are now saying that, hey, uh, we, we want to really know the chat logs and we want to know the, the, the other side. We want to see the other side of the truth and we also want to see Doc actually elaborate because, yeah, he just uh, dropped that uh, response and he kind of like peaced out. I feel like that he's either waiting uh, for this to kind of like settle 
off or like dry up a little bit and then he's gonna come out with his another response perhaps maybe or maybe he's just gonna start a stream and leak everything or maybe he's just waiting or maybe uh, he cannot because of this legal uh, mumbo jumbo or so uh, i'm just speculating i'll keep it 100 real with you guys because this is uh, what uh, we're seeing all around like this is what you guys are saying this is what people are saying generally in other chats uh, a, a lot of it is uh, it's uh, genuine questions uh yeah people are like hey so yeah what what's going on right yeah everybody agrees that uh, generally speaking right like mostly everybody's agreeing that doctor admitting to the allegations of and, and this is the words of doc he said that he was a uh, speak and texting with a minor and sometimes the conversation would lean on the side of uh, inappropriately you cannot defend that part but then people are like okay we need to see the chat logs what does that mean right what does that mean does that mean that you were chatting inappropriately in a sexual manner uh, if that's the case okay yeah you you cannot defend the guy were you talking like in uh to a boy in in a like a locker room talk kind of right where you were trying to bully of course that's not okay but but like but but you know it wouldn't be as severe as something like you were talking to let's just say a 12 year old girl in a sexual way that that's like you, you know what i mean right like that's that's insanity but then there are rumors that it was a 17 year old girl but here's the thing though that that's just a rumor that's unconfirmed we don't even know we just know it was a minor and that's it we don't know whether it was a boy or a girl still not defending doc here like after him admitting to it you know what i mean you would think that the case would be closed but then people are having more questions right now breaking news now this is from call of shame confirmed dr disrespect was reported by twitch to the national center of for missing and exploited children oh, when shit. they were illegally recording whispers by the doc back in 2017 a full investigation was authorized and no wrongdoing was found no illegal activity took place mm. by dr disrespect no arrests were, were made, made and no charges, and no charges filed, filed. Thus adding more weight that Dr. Disrespect is innocent as this is indeed looking like a witch hunt by an ex-Twitch employees uh, to frame Dr. Disrespect. Now, there's been some, uh, all of this with Slasher, uh, who's an esports reporter. And in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I trust CNN more than anything Slasher has ever said. I don't know Slasher. I've never had a conversation with Slasher. Okay. And I want to make it clear that I never want to have a conversation with Slasher. I don't trust this clown for anything. All right. So he's been putting a lot of information out there. And he dates back to the original Twitch ban uh, of Dr. Disrespect and his uh, weird message that he put out back then. I yeah. trust nothing this guy has okay. to say. Fair, fair. In fact, I tend to believe the exact opposite of what this guy has to say. Um, but a lot of this information that's going around Whoa. out there, he there was. Yo, tranquilo, papi. Time out, time out. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo, tranquilo, bro. Damn. But now, recently, uh, yeah, Slasher did come out and he said that, yeah, oh, wow, like, Doc has been arrested, right? Like, yeah, we had pictures, we had pictures, and he did come out he did say that and uh, drama alert reported that and i also covered that story and I was, I was telling you guys bro like i don't believe that right but that's the rumor that's the news going around so i gotta cover it but i also gotta tell you the real version as well we don't have any proof and it's just rumors right now we'll see maybe in the coming hours we're gonna see more outlets and you know dropping pictures uh, and it's gonna be more official we had none of that and that story disappeared so seems like that dog was not arrested i mean not that it seems like he was not arrested so that's uh not true and also a lot of people are bringing this up as well right a full investigation was authorized and no wrongdoing was found this is something that doc has been also mentioning quite a lot of times and no illegal activity took place that's actually good uh listen man not i'm not even being biased here just trying to be unbiased on the situation i don't want to see crap like that go down right like where you know you catch a predator and uh, he was doing some bad to a minor yeah like the minor's life is ruined right the family is gonna be the minor is gonna be traumatized for life the the, the family is gonna be traumatized as well it, it's just not good right like i, I don't want to see that and it's illegal absolutely and more so than illegal it, it's morally slasher said that dr disrespect was reportedly uh, arrested of course that turned out to be fake of course it was unconfirmed it is also reported that the minor 
was yeah, this is a actually a former Twitch employee pretending to be a 17-year-old girl and trying to bait Dr. Disrespect with entrapment techniques while the ex-Twitch mods illegally recorded it all. They were all fired soon after and sued by Dr. Disrespect's legal team. They Holy. are very bitter over this and is why the whole thing is coming out for the second time after Damn. it has already been dealt with. Whoa. Dude. That's, what the yeah. hell is happening right now? I don't... Uh, but, but it's unconfirmed. It is unconfirmed. It's a rumor, right? So, yeah, don't take it for real, for real. It's unconfirmed. But what if? It's a what-if situation. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of you also say that. Even if it was a Twitch minor bait, the fact that Doctor engaged with it, he's still guilty. Yeah, people are saying that. Because this is, uh, yeah. Uh, but also, on the other side, people are like, we need to see the, the chat logs. What if it wasn't that bad? right but then you also got people saying that it gotta be that bad bro because like youtube demonetized him twitch also banned him sponsors dropped him and more so than that forget about all of uh, the, the sponsors and youtube demonetizing him or twitch banning him right his own business partner robert balling just came forward and said that he has seen the facts and after seeing the facts he just cannot work with doc right so you also gotta factor in that too it, it's there are a lot of loopholes in this one there are a lot, uh, uh, clearly a lot of plot twists, and uh, people got their set of opinions. And right now, it, it's there. A miracle gotta happen for everybody' opinions to change, right? A miracle gotta happen because right now, I'm, I'm sure you have your opinion set, and it's not gonna change. Nothing is really gonna change your opinion unless something big comes out that clears uh this up because yeah like we heard dr disrespect side we heard twitch side not necessarily i mean it's the ex twitch employees that are saying it twitch officially never said anything right so i, I feel like the truth is somewhere in the middle where you guys have know no, what for to it. believe and if his tweet didn't say what it said and the way it said it i would be a hundred percent on his side but his tweet does exist, yep. and it's terrible. It's an awful tweet. I saw this video, which makes a lot of sense. Bruh. So I've been ruminating about this Dr. Disrespect situation because I'm really, I'm having trouble processing it because my brain works very logically, right? I, I'm pretty good at putting aside emotion, just thinking about like what makes the most sense, right? And I can't for the life of me figure it out because, you know, life truly is full of difficult decisions there are a lot of things that are thrown at you you have to make a decision that's hard it's part of life you muscle through it you figure it out <clears throat> one of the biggest layups that life could ever possibly give you is a decision like hey I know you've built this incredible career and you're worth millions of dollars you have a family and a wife and a daughter um, you could keep all that or or you could engage inappropriately with this minor in a DM <laughs> To, like for me logically that's like a layup that's like oh i'm just gonna not do that yeah but for somehow this grown-ass man was like and, and, and he was like what 35 or 36 at the time or, or when this happened right yeah insane that's a grown man bro like yeah i, I feel like that a lot of you were like you know in like primary school with like ah, yeah, i don't know what's happening you know you were learning your abcds around that time and doc was uh pulling this up right crazy so yeah a lot of people are bringing the, the 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 idea of logic as well you got a beautiful wife got like a beautiful family you're six eight plays basketball you got a youtube twitch career as well right uh, yeah you got tons of sponsors you're a million I, I i suppose he was a millionaire back then too as well maybe not maybe not but right now he certainly is he's he's rich as hell but 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 yeah you know what i mean right but guys it's like one of those things man control your dragons Bruh. Control your BBCs, control your BWCs, LBCs, LWCs. You need to control that dragon because, you know, somebody once said that your D can lead you to dangerous places, and it is quite true, okay? Control your dragons, brothers. Control It, it doesn't make sense. Wait for a None of this makes sense. Mm. And I'm so confused. Mm. And again, I go back, and there's Grums with his tweet. Did Twitch bid Dr. Disrespect by pretending to be a minor? If they did it, insanity. But what do you think on this situation, right? Do you think that uh, if Twitch did bait with a minor and Dr. Disrespect took the bait, do you think that Dr. Disrespect still uh, is a PD? Or you think no? I go back to the most damning thing that I have seen is Doc's own tweet. Mm. 
where he said he was going to lay it all out there. I, I, I really don't understand it. And and this is going to continue. It's going to continue to be the craziest story on the internet. I got to show you this. I am that. fully invested at this point in time. This is a Dr. Disrespect drama channel for the foreseeable future. Of course, Damn. I'm going to cover other things. But this story is yeah. absolutely insane. Yeah, people want to know their truth. People want to know the truth. And uh, people want to know what truly happened. This is a bigger mystery than that of Area 51. And guys, uh, before I jump into and show you like what else happened, Happened right after check out the second channel this is where we cover ufo stuff conspiracy stuff every single day my man so if you're into that definitely subscribe i right, let's get back to the insane. content of boo -boo. and it's going to continue to be insane until we get some clarity and i don't know if we will get that clarity or not but have to. my have to, biggest issue right now is his tweet and i hope we get more information on his tweet but i don't know if we will yeah. i don't know when we're going to hear from doc He's been demonetized on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to get. I, I, I'm i just amazed by how all of this plays out. You guys, let me... Guys, okay, so check this out. So Jay got laughing, cracking, having a good time. Somebody asked him about, about Dr. Dis of respect. Green on. Uh-oh. Yeah, you can see, like, oh, crap. You see what he was when he just read? And that just, like... Because... You want to know the craziest thing here is that like I was speaking to my real life buddies They also found out about doc and they they love the guy too So they were also kind of like oh man like I did not see doc actually I couldn't believe that doc would do something like that as well or not do or do so they're also quite kind of like in the middle But they're also like oh crap, right? Like yeah, I, I can't believe doctor would do that You know what I mean? And they're also like I don't fully believe the online uh, the internet version of it but the, the the fact that doctor has admitted doctor disrespect has admitted to the allegations that's the part that it's like yeah you know what i mean like case closed but still i'm seeing you guys as well Th uh, yeah normally when a person just admits that case is closed right yeah right but this time a lot of people are just not willing to accept that people are saying and thinking there's more to it and even my real life friends are like that too right now they're like nah man okay so what doctor has admitted to inexcusable you cannot defend him but something feels off right now yeah uh oh uh, yeah i did see what happened with doc yeah, 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 it's uh, it's unfortunate because as a uh entertainer he's great <laughs> But there's been a lot of flawed entertainers over like the history of Dean Machine One Thousand Entertainment, and it's unfortunate because for twelve months I gotta show you they this let too. their demons take over. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only good thing is nothing was. Uh, it doesn't seem like anything's happening recently, but his shit's chalked. Hey, Dean, thank you with the twelve months. Appreciate it. Yeah, all the, the nonsense with him. 12 months, huh? Nick Merckx, it's just like, bros, can we just be streamers? <laughs> can we be content creators? Can we just vibe? <laughs> yeah, it's like every day something happens, right? And check this roll. Well, so bit of news, we have Dr. Disrespect. So recently, we all know that Doc come out with a statement confirming of the wrongdoing, but only stated that he talked to a minor with no info on the conversation of what was said and claims to be a 17 year old. Now the doc mm. said in the last part of his statement that he's taken an extended vacation. So for the time being, pay close attention to the last words that Doc said in his Twitter post. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, effing right. Now the next Okay, uh, this was said before he was demonetized. Now, here's the thing, though. A lot of people were talking about this, that what if YouTube just, like, bans him? In a way, they did, but still, he has a channel, right? So, I think he's gonna come back, but... But what if YouTube bans him completely? Twitch staff who started all this off and exposing the doc for what he did in the following tweet, followed by another tweet saying that no one made the wrong decision, F him and his boys. So it seems like the ex Twitch staff has something against Dr. Disrespect and his friends, that being Tinder Tapman and Nick Merckx, which are the closest to the doc. And in that same week, Nick got banned on Twitch for saying, uh, Yeah, we talked about it in the other video. They don't like him. The Wookiees don't like what Nick Merck stand for, what dogs stand for. Yeah, they don't like it. That, that's a fact. But, uh, and, and we talked about it. I mean, facts are facts, but also the opposite is also true. Doc has admitted 
to the allegations as well. So he is guilty. That's the thing, though. Yes, the Wokies don't like him, though. You know what I mean? Like, they, they don't like him. They wanted him banned. And I guess they actually found something. And they were like, okay, let's go back in his past right now real quick. And we're going to mess with this guy, right? We're going to cancel this guy. And they succeeded so far. Regardless of your opinion, regardless whether you think he's innocent, regardless whether you think he's not innocent, or regardless uh, if you're, like, in the middle or... You know, because some of you are in the middle. Some of you are like, hey, okay, no. The, the cancellation is justified. Some of you think, nah, bro, I'm on Doc's side. He did nothing wrong. Some of you are like, okay, I, doctor has admitted, but, but like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to believe what I see on the internet. I mean, I, I understand. Uh, that's fair. But, but like... But also, you guys gotta understand that, yeah, like, th they don't like him, but also, Doc has admitted to the allegation, so... I, I don't know, man, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So, both are... I mean, Doc is guilty too, but... ...on Twitch, so someone was keeping an eye on Nick during this whole drama. But Nick ban was kinda petty, though, like, banning Nick Marks, I mean, come on now, bruh. If you guys missed out on that video, the link is in the description. So far the doc has confirmed the wrongdoing but zero evidence have been provided by either party. Now a new info has come out that a full investigation was authorised and no wrongdoing was found and no illegal activity took we place by Dr. Yeah. Disrespect. No arrest was made and no charges were filed. Furthermore in this post it also states that Dr. Disrespect is innocent as this indeed is looking like a witch hunt by ex-Twitch employee to mm. frame Dr. Disrespect. Now here is an unconfirmed but crazy part of the story. It's also reported that the minor was actually a former Twitch employee pretending to be a 17 year old girl and trying to bait a Dr. Disrespect with entrapment techniques while the ex-Twitch mod illegally recorded it all. Yeah, so do you think that this is why, this is why, because yeah, the news, uh, the rumor is that this is why they got sued, right? This is why Twitch got sued and they won. Um, yeah, right, because they were not allowed to do that. D they found, I guess, Doc guilty, right? Uh, and Doc, Doc also admitted, but you're not allowed to do this because they, they, they I believe they did the thirst traps. And I, s w so the, if this is true, guys, keep in mind, this is a rumor, okay? Gotta be very clear with this one. This one is unconfirmed. So let's assume this for a second, right? They really did play that. And uh, let's just say for, for a second, because if they're, uh, like, if they got fired for this and they got sued for this, I suppose that the Twitch minor bait of her being 17 years old, she probably was not 17, but she was playing like a 17 year old trying to entrap a uh, doctor, doctor disrespect, right? If this is to be believed, if this is to be believed. They were all fired soon after and sued by Dr. Disrespect's legal team. They were very bitter over this and why the whole thing is coming out for a second time after it's already been dealt with. So far this is the latest update and I'll let you guys decide and share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think that there's a chance yeah. that Dr. Disrespect is innocent? Let me know in the comments. Assuming this is true, Twitch has a major problem on their hands. I am done talking about Doc. He sh** his own bed with his own wording right or wrong. Yeah. Twitch must be confronted and as Melanie Mac said, Shut down. down. <laughs> Agree, there are many reasons to investigate Twitch, aside from the Doc-related issues. But this- Yeah, okay, Doc is guilty, but also, like, Twitch is uh, equally doubly guilty as well. Yeah, we gotta- Yo, Twitch, you need to tell us the truth, bruh! This story is big, bro, so yeah, we need we need the truth as well. Like the video if you think we, we, we should get the truth, man. May tie in with a broader case against the platform. If true, this is going to be one crazy defamation claim against them for all this, and also Twitch. There's a lot of aggregating damages occurring here. Yet, mm -hmm. I've been sitting here thinking I'm nuts for not taking Dr. Disrespect's words at face value because of the vagueness of his use of inappropriate conversations, which could be anything, and it doesn't matter the age. What matters is the context of the convos. Yeah, right, like, what if Dr. Because some people are bringing this up, right, that what if uh, Doc was uh, talking inappropriately in a way, you know, it, like the locker room talk, right, trying to bully the, the, the kid or the minor in the case. Of course not right, of course not right. Like, he, er, not right, uh, he has admitted, so y you cannot defend, but this is like an argument that's being thrown around. Now, if this comes out that it was just a locker room talk where he was trying to bully the kid or something like that, of course, 
it wouldn't be as severe as if he was like sending pictures or talking which he said he did not uh, or, or or if he was talking in a sexual way which is of course that's uh, like you cannot defend him uh, you cannot defend doc at that point that's morally bad even if he was not charged legally that's morally corrupt that, that's insane right you, you know what i mean right that is pd behavior uh, uh but people want to know like the, what, what do you mean with inappropriately Destiny remembers discussing the doc scandal with the original reporters in 2020. He is surprised that the news wasn't leaked a year ago when he heard it from different people. It was like the most important jazz album of all time. I'm not in, I, I should know why, but I don't actually know why. <clears throat> How long have you heard rumors for? Oh, for this? <laughs> I spoke to people that did original reporting on this, I think for the first time about four years ago. Uh, I was really shocked that nothing had leaked, given the gravity of what was being discussed. It was kind of weird to me. So you're saying that you also knew? Come on, man. Right now, everybody want to be a philosopher, and everybody's claiming that they knew about this. I don't, I don't know, right? Like, if this, yeah, right? Like, if this, how many people knew? Because it sounds like that everybody knew, though. It feels like every, everyone and their mother knew about it, but nobody spoke out about it. I don't know, man. I don't know, it doesn't sound real to me. Uh, it feels like that somebody would have. Or maybe it's, it was one of those things that nobody wanted to be the first to talk about it because uh, you talk about it, then you gotta offer proof. And rightfully so, the bigger the claim, the bigger the evidence you would need to support your claims, right? And this time we didn't get the, the, the claims, but it just blew up so much that Doc responded and then he admitted, and now we're here. Had it been Doc never admitted, I guess uh, this story would have been... Um, yeah, people would have talked about it, but we would still be in this speculation zone. Right now, we're still in a speculation zone, but after Doc has admitted, you know what I mean? So there is that, yeah, right, like... Um, but I would say about a year ago, I started to hear other people talk to me and ask me about this, and people started to know things that I wouldn't expect to have direct access to reporters, so I thought it would have leaked then about a year ago, when a bunch of people started to talk to me that I wouldn't have expected to know that, but then... um. I guess now it leaked because of that one dude. Yeah, I don't know. What's with all these I've known for a while people yeah, coming out of yeah. the woodwork? Like, I know the they're for clout and attention, but what they don't understand <laughs> yeah. is they were part of the problem hiding it. My yes. baseless opinion is that everybody knew, but only had PPL words for it. Nobody had the screenshots or whatever documentation that would make them able to fight in court. Yeah, that as well, because you would have to provide evidence if you were making that and nobody want to look like a bad guy, right? Uh, and also, what if th this is... Uh, I suppose because at the time a lot of people were wondering why did he get banned the the I was seeing that uh, this a lot where people were saying that he got banned because the last time he was streaming he was talking about David ICKE the guy that's pretty big on conspiracies and stuff like that uh, that that's the reason why I'm not saying his name as is because a lot of people were like prob this is probably why he got banned so uh, speculation was there uh, everybody was speculating why he got banned everybody was dropping different reasons and I suppose this reason was also dropped uh, around the time but I never seen that but uh, and, and what if the people that claim to have known what if they some of them were like okay uh, well we were hearing a lot of this and that I don't know what's true, what's not. Maybe that is also true. I don't know, though. It's, it's It was literally all over the place, and currently it is all over the place, too. Journalists were reporting and decided not... We have narrowed it down, but still, you know. ...to come out with the info. That could also deter many from leaking the info. Because if a journalist is scared, why a smaller streamer wouldn't be? This is like when one victim comes out after years and the floodgates open. Well, A, they probably didn't have conclusive enough proof. They probably just heard it being told to them by sources. But given the claims at hand and the subject at hand, they probably need a lot more than just people claiming something. Mm -hmm. Internal documents, maybe. They yeah. didn't want to be the first ones to break the story on rumors against one of the biggest streaming titans on the planet and get it wrong. B, Makes probably sense. to some degree responsibility for the victim involved. While it can be with good intentions to expose a predator, it's a pretty frequent occurrence that the victims involved get hit pretty hard by the reactions to it. Many of the victims don't want to be involved. They don't want their names to be known. They don't want- And if it's a minor, legally, you you cannot disclose the information uh, on the minor, right? L legally, yeah, you cannot share their name, uh, their, uh, their, yeah, none, yeah, you're, you're gonna keep their I uh, identity hidden and secret. ...to be harassed. Twitch staff get in trouble. Oh, oh, my butt, oh, I took my butt, ah. Jongens, afgelopen nu. Allemaal terug daar, ben zij hier wel goed wijs. She just called it everyone. Slaap nog even alles. Kom op, zeg. 
<laughs> okay, so this this is not linked with it. But guys, uh, check out this video on the screen. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this or not. Absolute insane stuff that is coming out right now. Check it out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.